Um, please just introduce yourself, your name, your oh. program, where you're from. Uh, my name is... T- well, the short form is Timmy. Mm-hmm. My like proper full name is Afolabi Oluwatimwe. Mm-hmm. I am from Nigeria, mm-hmm. West Africa. Uh, I'm in the Graphics and Communication Management program, first year. Um, nothing, nothing really much to myself because mm-hmm. I'm just uh, I'm this kind of creative person. Always wanted wanted to like do stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, always trying to oh, can I do this? Can I do that? What like what comes out better? You know, just creative. I'm an artist. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I'm mostly better in the animation field. Like well, I draw doodles and all that stuff, sketch drawing, mm-hmm. stuff like that. So yeah, that is what is like pursuing me to get to that video game designer or uh, creative director mm-hmm. aspect. So first question, right? Uh, why are you studying abroad? Well, I was looking for a different program. Mm-hmm. From back home, we didn't have exactly what I wanted because uh, I had like inspirations to become a graphic designer or a video game animator designer kind of thing. Mm. So back home, we didn't have stuff like that because it's like the whole. It's not a first world country, right? So mm. it's like a it's like Africa, West Africa, mm. it's a third world country. So we didn't really have all that. Mm-hmm. So. You know, to come to a new place and you know experience some new things, try some new things mm. because like you never know like, when you want to be something and if you don't give it a chance, you might not. Mm. Yeah, so like I just keep here, you know, having the hopes that I will, you know, be something that I want to be rather than doing something that uh, I don't because like back when we only have like uh, the basics. Mm-hmm. By like engineering, medicine, and all that. So I wasn't interested in stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I just decided, you know, come here, mm-hmm. do what I want to do. With this. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Okay, so question two. Um, you, actually, no, you already answered the question where you lived before coming okay. to Toronto. So okay, um, how different is it from your home or where you? Oh, it's way really different. Right? It's really, really, really different. It's. This is like a whole new. It's like a move to. It's like a move to a like a whole new world, like a different place entirely, right? Because back home we didn't have the opportunities they have here. We didn't have a lot of things they don't have here. Uh, I can say if you want to compare here to back home, the only thing you can probably find is a. Uh, um, even the government, even the government's not that good, so you can only find the uh, for sure not diversity. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see what can you actually. Maybe you can only compare uh, food or something like that, mm. because like back home we try food. Like we also have food from different cultures, mm. that kind of thing. But apart from that, no, no. Like diversity is not really a thing back home because you don't really see like. Not a lot of people live like like at that like at my side. Like not a lot of the, like different cultures and races live around that side of the world, right? Mm. So diversity is not really a thing. The government's not. It is there, but it's not as good as here. Uh, there are a lot of things. A lot of things. I can't do like countless. I can't even start mm. like mm-hmm. naming them right now. Mm. A lot. Next question. So, do you go back home often? And if so, uh, no, why? No. I haven't been home in uh, probably two years. Because mm-hmm. uh, my parents aren't here. I'm like the only one here. So, I haven't been home in two years, basically. This uh, The end of this semester will make it two years. Mm-hmm. And I don't think I'm going home this summer because like, I have to work. Mm-hmm. Uh, is there a reason why that you why you don't go home or uh, like that? I can't really say there's not a reason, but uh, I would say it's more like a not to uh, miss. I don't know because there are issues like 
a whole hundred issues like gov like you know the government issues and stuff they tend to raise bans a lot of times like uh you know like um currency fluctuations banning uh the use of dollars and like all that stuff just to in order just to like um i don't know you're trying to make the economy better mm -hmm. so because it's based like a lot of it's been based on like a lot of corruption mm -hmm. so trying to make it clean is like affecting us a lot like in the sense that uh if they they can say um oh there's no like our national ids we cannot they will block it mm -hmm. all because uh they don't want us to use it and uh because like they really want people because a lot of us mostly go abroad like scattered around the whole world yeah all because of how life is there mm -hmm. how it's not like you know working for us so a lot like, you're trying to bring a lot of people back home like you know to i don't know maybe to start afresh i don't i'm not exactly sure but that whole thing is not something that oh everyone is like on terms with like oh I'm, i'll go back home and kind of thing mm -hmm. and not not even that alone the ticket price is like really high to go back home oh. it's like super high to go back home mm -hmm. and uh i guess maybe because uh i just really do not my par i rather prefer my parents come mm -hmm. than uh me going back because i i don't know it's just like a whole stress thing for me i mean it's a whole it's a whole lot of stress i really want to but at the same time i'm like uh I can just get a job, you know, do something better with that time, to be mm -hmm. very honest. They can come, they have your visas and everything, so oh. they're like, they're, they can come anytime they want. Mm -hmm. But I'm on a student visa, and I'm most, like, I would also, like, want to get a permanent residence, so I don't want to, like, be going home, coming back, going home, coming back, all that, you know. Okay. Moving on to the next question. So, um, what do you think makes a location home? Well, a location home maybe mm -hmm. is it could be uh you know the people mm -hmm. it could be the environment itself if it's similar mm -hmm. maybe same food or same culture or or uh you know same weather or something like that all those kind of little things actually like they all those little attributes matter to uh, making a location home mm. for me, mm. like maybe the people, like maybe it's like uh, the way it was back home. Maybe uh, the people, the way. Well, I can't necessarily say the the way the people act, but uh, maybe like a uh, diversity, mm. like diversity could be like a huge thing. Could make it back home. Could make it feel like back home. Mm. Okay. And when you tend to find uh, maybe um, you know restaurants that have food from back home, that kind of thing, mm. like cultural stuff. Cultural stuff. Okay. Sure. All right. Moving on to the next one. Um, do you ever think of Toronto as home? And if not, what do you consider it to be? Well, I do. I do think of Toronto as home. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a good place for me a very good place for me uh, I feel like uh, this is I mean it's not it's a huge start for me I mean it's a huge start but I feel like it's also not a bad start it's something that I've loved I've always loved Toronto before I came to it mm -hmm. so you know when you want to be somewhere you make the best of it you're like happy about it especially if you've like been a uh, always excited about Toronto like oh I was excited when before I came here mm -hmm. and now I'm here so it's still like it still got me excited because I know like there are a lot of opportunities here mm -hmm. a lot of things I can use to my advantage you know make myself uh, a better person you know get to where I want to get to mm -hmm. so that alone helps a lot mm -hmm. like just knowing that oh yeah like I'm home Toronto is home for me mm. okay awesome uh, <coughs> So, uh, were there any difficult decisions you had to make before coming to Toronto? Well, I think the only difficult decision was just leaving family behind, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, That's the only difficult decision? That's the only difficult decision. Okay. Um, and 
do you think moving from that location to here affect you psychologically in any way? Uh, yeah, it did. It mm-hmm. did for sure. I mean, there are times that I want to go home, or there are times that I was like, oh, I just want to be with my family, but like, you're not here. I mean, I'm sure everyone gets like, if you're an international student, you should probably get homesick sometimes, or you just want to be alone sometimes, I guess. Mm-hmm. Just to, you know, think, or at least calm yourself down, or compose yourself. Mm-hmm.